All right, so um, someone recently asked for a tutorial on how to put this thing together, how I did this. So I'm going to go ahead. So, so as you can see, I wired everything up. Um, I added a lot of hot glue here keep the switches in place and then I used a um, switch that came from one of the full auto worker kits and then I wired it to a try to get the weight in there a uh, my 3d base Raiden uh, 75k uh, 130 motor and then I have a 3D printed flywheel cage in here. And you can maybe barely see it, but it's a 43 millimeter spacing. Um, and then a, a 130 motor shim to fit into the I believe it's a 260 or 280 motor space. Um, but yeah, a lot of hot glue. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I'm trying to show you all the wiring. So this wire attaches to the top of the blue and then this wire here splits and goes to this mode, this wire here and then goes to the flywheels. So from this wire that splits from this goes all the way to the flywheels and then the switch that connects to the switch on the green so the green one here or the blue switch goes from the top here and I'll pull up a diagram uh, goes to the battery and then the negatives get wired to the uh, switch here so the negatives get wired into this switch all three one for the motors one for the flywheels uh, pusher and the battery and then uh, 
Um, and then let me pick up this piece. <clears throat> so it essentially, you have to shave. You have to shave down the tray where the stock, stock. Um, The stock triggers sit, shave it down flat almost, um, and then if you're able to order one of these, if you have an extra, have an extra worker flywheel uh, rev switch, like these really small ones, and then angle it, um, what I did was mark it almost, and then kind of sat it in there with super glue almost, and then this one sat it right behind, so they're damn near touching. Um, and, um, there's the diagram that I followed, and it allows you to pretty much follow exactly, and then just wire them up to these. Uh, but the hardest part is definitely fitting these in here. Um, but it's not that bad. Once you get this alignment set, it's okay. Um, but yeah. Um, but if you want to use this motor that I have, the pusher motor, be really careful when you load the links in to not load them in backwards because there's a window and you can grind the mode the gears in here I've done it twice already um, by accident um, yeah so um, that's really it it's 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 not that difficult um, but when you put this in here it'll sit just like this and then push it forward and then up and then it's game on um, and yeah it shoots pretty hard um, it's not the most accurate thing but I mean you don't build one of these for accuracy so um, but yeah so that's the wiring inside, how it looks. Um, and as you can see down here, uh, if I can get the light in there. Um, there's a drop of hot glue in there to keep the wires out of the way of this thing that allows the, the links to move freely. Um, but no other place really has hot glue except for that spot right there. Um, and the place that I got these, I mean, I live in Germany, so you don't have to order them from there. You can probably 3D print, but I'll put a link in all the in the description once I put this up. It's all the things that I have. Um, and then you can order these from out of darts, these, one, these switches. Uh, they're 21 amps. Uh, so is this one. This is also 21 amps. And then, just for shits and giggles, I used the sight. I smoothed it down and shaved it down to fit a 1300 milliamp battery, a 3S. Uh, I did try a 4S, but I uh, was too scared to blow it up, so, because I like this thing way too much. So, um, but yeah, that's. That's pretty much the, the gun.